Thanks, Lena. I'm here with Assistant City Manager Jared Wassinger. Uh, thank you for coming into the studio today. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So we're going to be discussing the new parking garage down in Aggieville. It's set up to open tomorrow, correct? Yep. Tomorrow we're having a ribbon cutting at 10 a.m. Uh, and then the general public is free to park in there um, starting at 11 a.m. So we're right in time for the weekend uh, for the lunch crowd and the uh, evening crowd. Awesome. So why did Aggieville need this parking garage? We've done a lot of studies uh, since 2016 for Aggieville. We did a community visioning process, and part of that we realized there was a parking deficit in the district. Um, just for the existing structures and, and restaurants and retail that was there now, if you wanted to even add growth into the district, there was more parking deficit. So we knew that we needed to add capacity. A, a garage had been discussed for many years. And uh, we had continued conversations with the community and then ultimately passed a, what's a tax increment financing district to help fund the garage. Awesome. So uh, th there were talks in the past about maybe shutting off the streets of Aggieville, maybe for a safer place. Is this parking garage maybe something that's going to open those conversations back up? It certainly can. Uh, we have future phases for streetscape improvements. Uh, Morrow Street is probably the one that people think about most of how can you maybe eliminate some of that on-street parking, widen the sidewalks so you can have more amenities, and then possibly even close down the street temporarily or uh, you know fully. So that's going to be a couple years out, but adding over 300 additional stalls uh, into the district adds that capacity, which allows for that discussion that we'll continue to have with the community. Definitely helps. Uh, so it's free to park in there right now. Um, at what point do you think it's going to cost and how much will that cost? So we anticipate allowing free parking in the garage at least through January 1, 2023. Uh, we are creating a parking management program that we're going to have discussions with our city commission over this summer to talk about paid parking in the garage. Uh, we do anticipate uh, an hourly fee. We're trying to figure out how we can possibly allow maybe that first hour free. So we'll have those discussions as well as long-term parking. Really, we're going to try and create a structure that if you're going to be wanting to get into Aggieville in and out, that's where that on-street parking is available. If you're going to be a long-term parker, we want you parking in the garage. So figuring out those structures. We have a lot of different uses in Aggieville. We have your eight to five businesses. We have your evening crowds with lunch and dinner, bars. So we need to figure out a way that we can manage parking in a consistent way. But the cost will be to come. Awesome. Well, th that's all the time we have. I appreciate you coming in. Uh, Lena, back to you.